It's well, what a- about Green Bay? Has Green Bay put out anything with any players on it? I haven't said fucking much anything outside of signing Blake Bortles. <laughs> by the way, congrats, Blake. Yeah. Congrats, congrats, Blake. Congrats, what does Blake. that say, by the way? What does that say? Aaron Blake? loves Blake. I know Aaron likes Blake, so hey, it's it should work out, hopefully. By the way, hard not to love Blake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, think, I, think that is, I think it's hard not to love Blake, so a lot of people are like, oh, this must mean Jordan Love stinks. This must mean Aaron Rodgers is out, and Jordan loves the start, and they're bringing Blake in. It's like... Maybe it just means they're looking for a pretty good quarterback has to throw a ball around a little bit. Yeah. That, is there any th- chance that that's what they're looking for? Blake's been around a long time, by the way, at this point. Mm-hmm. Jaguars. Mm-hmm. Then he was with uh, Rams, right? Mm-hmm. Who's he with before the Rams? He, uh, some... he, had a, he had a cup of coffee with the Broncos last year, too, right? Yeah. Then Rams. And then now he's going to be with the Packers. Blake's a gamer, too. Oh, yes. Yeah. Hey, he talked shit to me the first time he played against the Colts, I think, in Indianapolis. He was scrambling, he was running, and he ran over by the kicker's net or whatever. And I gave like an old lay or whatever. And then jogging back, he dropped like a, like a, yeah, get the fuck out of my way or something like that. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, hey. he's, 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 but it was in like a, like a, uh, felt like it was in like a, uh, you know, like a. He's joking around. Like a fun, and I was like, whoa, I think I screamed back, whoa. <laughs> you know, it was like a full moment. But at that, th- that was when I became a fan, by the way. I was like, oh, I love this guy. Yeah. Like, I, I, if you're going over somebody else's sideline, like, yeah, get the fuck out of my way, dude. Like, that is. <laughs> hey, would you have, would it have made you feel even better if he was like, hey, watch out for them canals, Pat? Like, would you make, if you personalized it? Listen. Hey, Jay. The canal stuff with the alleged incident, it was hard playing at home. It was harder playing at home for like. Well, that's how that's how a lot of people knew you. Like, oh, oh yeah, oh, Indy. Oh, that's the guy that yeah. swam in the canal. Like, that's how a lot of people around the league knew who you were. But at the punting position, at away games, when you're going onto the field, the fans love you. So I am loved in away stadiums. When I come on the field, yeah. normally good news, right? Yeah. Yeah. They're getting the ball back. There was a stop. So I think fans celebrated that a lot in other cities. Like, for instance, I told the Eagle story where the fans were like, mm, McAfee, and then they turn around, and it's a big-ass beer, a big dude, and he's like, there's nothing wrong. With he's one of us. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's how yeah. those – at home, though, Jesus. I mean, it never ended. It just never – go to Canal, McAfee. It's like – I don't know if you're like saying that as a positive or what? negative right now. Like, I, it, it was just for like two years. I was almost like, I love away games. Like, I fucking love getting out and go sleep in a hotel. You know, watch Iron Live, take an Ambien, go wake up. Yeah. The fans love me. This is great. I love this. At home for two years, it was tough. But yeah, I mean, you got to deal with it all, I guess. Uh, Aaron, oh, it all happens for a reason. Bingo. Wait, wait, you never got any trouble, huh? You just were football all the time. You flipped off Did the you, camera. Yeah, oh yeah, he flipped off his yeah. coach. Yeah. No, as far as with the law, no, I was I was all right. Well, you're AJ Hawk because I actually got pulled over one week, four days after the alleged incident in Ohio. I got pulled over driving back to Pittsburgh because I wasn't allowed in the building because I was suspended, so I was going back home. And I, at that point, I did have a Cadillac Escalade that had 24 inch rims on them. Okay, right, super tinted windows too. Oh yeah, and it was a black Cadillac Escalade, and I had long hair at the time. I think everybody has seen that. Uh, and I'm driving through 70 across 70. Cop comes behind me. Then like two unmarked cop cars come, and they pull me over like three miles later. By the time I get over, okay, they already have a dog out. There's like things going on. They told me they got a tip that a black SUV was going to come across that had guns and whatever. And the, the the real highlight of that entire moment was after they had me out of the car, sitting down on the sidewalk, by the way, or on the side of the, the highway, uh, they asked me if I'd ever been arrested before. And I was like, yeah. And they're like, when? I was like, four days ago. You know, like <laughs> at that point, I'm fucking with the cops. And they're like, for what? I was like, uh, public intoxication. And the guy like looks at me and he goes, what are you doing in Indianapolis or whatever? And I was like, uh, like kick balls for the Colts or whatever. He was like, you're a member of the Colts and they arrested you for public intoxication? And I was like, yeah. They're like, if you were a Buckeye, we would have drove you home. <laughs> and I was like, I, th- I, thought, I thought that's how that was going to go too because I'm from Pittsburgh and my state there, they would have been like, hey, pal, like – you're going to get your ass beat. You walking around here like this at this time. Like you got to go. And he, that's when I learned like, Oh, in Ohio, you know, you're a Buckeye. You, right. Take care. Of you're AJ Hawk. It's like, Oh, wait, yeah. you're like, I know he did nothing wrong. No matter, <laughs> no matter what he actually did. Oh yeah. So I think this Blake Bortles news should be talked about way bigger. In my mind, it says Aaron Rodgers is out of town. Okay. Oh, so you Lord. think he's out of town? Cause they brought in another vet in there. You think he's the starter or backup for Jordan love then? 
Oh, I imagine he's got a start, right? I mean, he's got way more experience. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so, yeah, so how do you yeah. think they're going to do down there? We love Blake, by the way. Think oh, Blake's a good player. What do you think's going to happen there? Oh, they're going to fucking stink for twenty years. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Blake Bortles didn't deserve that, and Packers fans don't want to hear it. Andrew in Tampa is letting it rain down. I do believe that Packers team obviously looks much differently without Aaron Rodgers, but every team that has an incredible quarterback looks much different without that team. I've said this numerous times. I was on a team that went from com- almost being undefeated until we chose to lose to two years later almost being completely defeated because Peyton Manning was out for the season. Teams can look very differently very quickly, and uh, I think I think Packers fans know that. That's why it's kind of just hard to care about like any of this stuff because you're, <laughs> you're a, a team that was in the <laughs> NFC Championship last year, and legitimately, if Rodgers isn't there next year, like they might win three games. Like I don't oh, think that's that's out of seventeen. That's not hyperbole either. Like they are going to fucking stink. I did tweet this morning though. No one is talking about Bortles potentially going the Tebow route, playing tight end, catching a fucking touchdown oh, from Raj oh, week one. He is a great athlete. He great is a great athlete. athlete. Big Seen him big run. Big body. Big body. Loves the team. Will do anything for the team. I yeah. think every teammate loves him. I'm Maybe excited. Tim worked him out. Maybe in Jacksonville, Timmy worked him out a little bit and showed him a few routes. Could have. Oh, yeah, because they could have been neighbors. Uh, it's a neighborhood, yeah. I'd assume, starting quarterback would live in Urban Meyer or Tim Tebow's neighborhood over there in uh, Jacksonville.